Hey folks, uh, Psychotic Comedian here for show number 48, I believe. I got some uh, new, comp compiled, compiled some new bits, so uh, let's get this thing a rolling. First bit, I, this blonde came up to me and she says, Paul, I've been in the most rewarding relationship ever. I go, how long has it been, hon? She said, two weeks. Anyway, um, okay, I'm going to get down on the floor for this one. Okay, about six months ago, I was dating this black chick named Toshiba. She was like 650 pounds of fat. She, UPTV, she could cook like a son of a bitch, but I tell you, she, the sex play was excruciating, especially when she was on top. Uh, I'll show you. When <coughs> I was like, <coughs> she was bouncing on me, and when I had enough, I'd tap the floor like a wrestler being pinned. I'd go, uncle, uncle, then she'd get off of me. Thanks, Clay. Oh. oh, I'm getting old. Okay. <coughs> anyway. Another bit. Um, my, la my last dog, he was a good old dog. He passed away about three years ago. Um, we good? All right. I had a dog, a dog uh, three years ago. Um, his name was Timon. We all called him T. T liked, liked to French kiss. And I was laying in the bed. He lay in the bed with me of a night. And I, was, I woke halfway up through and I felt this trickling, tickling in my mouth. And I woke up and T had his tongue down my throat. He, he had both paws, like prying my mouth open. He had this cheesy little grin. I don't, but you know, to think about it, I, a little embarrassing you, PTV, but I kind of enjoyed it. You know, you, you take what you can get. All right. Okay. Well, you, PTV, I met one of those transistor chicks down at the train station. I meant to say, meant to say that station, down at the train station, and she had revealed to me she had like a 15-inch cock, and it was, it was prosthetic, but I still let her give me a good anal workout, and she, she hit me in places I never felt before, and I tell you that was, uh, that was quite a feeling. How about that? Also. UPTV, I think I'm de developing early on-stage Alzheimer's disease. I think I'm developing early on-stage Alzheimer's disease. See, I just forgot what I just said. How about that? Well, UPTV, I'm so fucking cool that I smoke two cigarettes, you know, while I'm lifting weights. I have so many aliases and no one really knows who the fuck I am, including myself. How about that? And I lost my virginity before my dad did. Here's a little thing here, a little piece. Down at the porno shop where every entry is also an exit. Okay, this is what I uh, said on the first day of kindergarten. I have the right to say no. I have the right to give my desires top billing. I have the right to cable TV. I have the right to an attorney. If an attorney cannot be afforded to me, one would be provided by the state. This is a pretty smart kid, first day of kindergarten. And I have the right to a fulfilling uh, sex life. <laughs> This is things not to say. I've done two of them. It's things not to say, part three on your first date. Um, your boobs, Jocelyn. I've seen better lumps in oatmeal, for Christ's sakes. 
and your hair is all stringy and stuff, and do you even know what your original collar, hair, hair collar is? I mean, geez, come on already. Have you gained weight, Jocelyn? It certainly, it certainly looks like you have. And then during the middle of the day, I throw my heads in my sense of, what am I doing here, UPTV? Needless to say, this time she went into the witness protection program and she did not, uh, she didn't call back. How about that? Two more bits. I was at a campus bar. Uh, seriously, the kids are coming back, so I was there uh, last night and I saw this uh, buxom brunette dancing in her groove on the, on the dance floor. They had the lights and the disco ball and everything and she says, well I gotta warn you Paul, I, I said, the, I said, what well, do you want to dance? I said, I gotta warn you Paul that our next da dance is the karate dance. So I said, uh, okay. I went and danced with her. I got two uppercuts to the chin. She did uh, a roundhouse, a hook, and a sidekick simultaneously. I ended up on the stretcher. They hauled me out to an ambulance. I was semi, I could still hear a little bit. And the two guys says, boy, she's violent, but she's a hell of a dancer there, UPTV. Three years ago, I was, I was at the Springfield Adult Arcade. I don't know if it's still in business, but I bought this video from a guy. He had like purple hair and a pink banana bouncing up and down on his head. He was gay. And he says, enjoy your adult entertainment tonight, Paul. I go, and you enjoy finding out what your original hair color is there, sir? He says, well, I never. I said, well, I never either. That's why I'm here purchasing the video in the first place, UPTV. How about that one? All right. No song. Maybe a song next week. That's the end of my show. As always, Cleeps here again. Deeply appreciate him. And Jason, Jason Liggett and Jake Shoemaker. And uh, thank you so much for watching and views. I hope you keep up, and I hope I can keep quality material going. Anyway, this is Paul Skinner, whose one alias is a psychotic comedian, and he bids you adieu.